is your first alert five weather with Mike Daniels. We're glad you're in safe and warm tonight. That's a live look in Colorado Springs. We have got snow from Rustic Hills to Crown Hill Mesa all the way to Wolf Ranch. 31 degrees, not enough wind to create a wind chill. You can see that snow. It is flying. That's a live look from our Rock Rim and Studios. Still dry in Pueblo 34 as your current temperature light breeze out of the south creates a feels like index of 30 degrees. All right, here we go. Gave you the first alert on this last week. Rolling in right on schedule. Winter storm warnings for northern El Paso County and Teller County from now until 2 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. And that winter storm warning stretches all the way up into Metro Denver, north to Fort Collins, the Wyoming border, all the way out to the Nebraska border. Really, that's going to be the prime target for the snow where you see the color from northern El Paso County points north. Blizzard conditions certainly possible. Whiteout conditions in the mix across some of those areas. Here's what's going on tonight. We've got snow from El Paso County, Teller County, Fremont County, all the way down to the New Mexico line. As you look at this radar scan, the areas with the darker blue colors, those are the areas getting the heavier snow right now, and that stretches from downtown Colorado Springs all the way back to Fort Carson, then points up Ute Pass around the Cascade area. Nothing happening in Pueblo yet. You'll have to wait another hour or two for your snow to really start to kick in, but good snows across portions of uh, Fremont County from Canyon City, the Royal Gorge, all the way back to Texas Creek and Cotopaxi tonight. That snow is pushing off the mountains and really starting to blossom, really starting to intensify as that energy starts to come a little closer. There's the big storm system right now cranking up and it's going to move gradually from west to east throughout the night and during the day tomorrow. I'll take you through it hour by hour. This is midnight tonight. We'll have snow and it'll be flying across most parts of Colorado Springs, El Paso County, Teller County, all the way back into Fremont County. Then watch what happens by 2 a.m. We see that snow uh, really start to lighten up further south, but still going across portions of the Pikes Peak region. Here we go just in time for the commute tomorrow morning. This is 6 a.m. Not only will we have snow, but we'll have strong gusty wind as well. That's why we'll have those uh, whiteout conditions across the area. I'm looking for wind out of the north gusting from 30 to 45 miles per hour at times. 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, it is going to be a mess up and down the I-25 corridor. But with that strong north wind as it pushes down the Palmer Divide, it's a drying downslope component. So by mid morning from Colorado Springs into Pueblo, it's going to uh, dry out. That's a, again, that's a westerly downslope flow, kind of like a westerly flow as it pushes down the Palmer Divide. And then by tomorrow afternoon, everything's starting to wrap up by the drive tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow evening. I think we'll have dry skies here across the News 5 viewing area. Pinpoint snow totals, real tough from Monument through Castle Rock into Denver. Going to drill down deeper into some of the neighborhoods right now. Prime target in our area is going to be northern El Paso County, Black Forest and Monument anywhere from 6 to 10 inches of snow, 4 to 8 at the Academy, same in Woodland Park. Going to see anywhere from 2 to 6 inches of snow across most parts of Colorado Springs. The further south you go, the less you will see, but in the Broadmoor, where you'll be so, somewhat of an upslope component there, you'll still get 3 to 6 inches of snow. Pueblo, a trace to an inch of snow. Eastern Fremont County, 1 to 4 inches possible. The Wet Mountains, Wet Mountain Valley, anywhere from 2 to 5 inches of snow possible. Across the southern I-25 corridor, Walsenburg into uh, Trinidad, anywhere from a trace to to an inch of snow possible and across the far eastern plains you'll see one to maybe two inches of snow but the problem is going to be the wind it is really going to be screaming out across the eastern plains you could see gusts up to 50 and 55 miles per hour so here's the bottom line blowing snow whiteout conditions certainly possible early tomorrow morning from colorado springs to denver from the springs south to pueblo flurries wind creating some hazardous travel as well and highway 24 from colorado springs to lyman blowing snow it is really going to be an issue so as we've been telling you if you can postpone any travel until late tomorrow afternoon. Don't want to mess with a storm of this magnitude. Afternoon highs today topping out into the upper 40s in both the Springs and Pueblo. Outside right now we're in the 20s and 30s across the viewing area. No serious wind, so no serious wind chill. Dropping back into the teens and 20s for our overnight lows tonight. It is going to be brutally cold with that wind blowing tomorrow. 20s and 30s on the thermometer, but with that wind we will have wind chills into the single digit. So you need to dress warmly, dress in layers, and don't forget to wear something over your head. Weather alert day tomorrow in Colorado Springs at three on our storm impact scale. Horizontal snow tomorrow morning. Thankfully, it tapers off during the afternoon. Real cold again on Wednesday. Dry turkey on Thanksgiving, 42 degrees with wind. Going to see a new storm move in on Friday. Rain changing to snow and then just cold conditions over the weekend. Pueblo snow won't amount to much, but wind and cold air will make it really uncomfortable to be outdoors. Bundle up if you're going to that holiday lighting at the courthouse tomorrow evening. Cold but dry Wednesday, dry turkey Thanksgiving Thursday, but it will be windy on Thursday. Next storm brings a mix on Friday and then cold for
for the parade of lights in Pueblo on Saturday. Canyon City snow and cold tomorrow. Icy conditions on the roads. It'll be windy and dry on Thanksgiving. Quick shot of moisture on Friday, then snow and cold conditions. Afternoon high temperatures staying unseasonably cold for the next five to six days. Woodland Park weather alert day tomorrow with three on the storm impact scale. Remember the higher the number, the stronger the storm. It'll be slick and slow on Ute Pass tomorrow and a new storm coming in on Friday with still more snow on the way. So